Good morning. God bless you all this morning. God keep you. And um, I hope y'all have a blessed weekend this weekend. And be careful and just ask God to protect you in every area of your life. Guide you and lead you home safely. Amen. I want to read out of uh, Isaiah chapter 19. Uh, it talks about a message about Egypt. A message about Egypt. It says, this message came to me concerning Egypt. Look, the Lord is advising, you know, the Lord is advising against it, uh, Egypt, riding on a swift cloud. The idols of Egypt trembles. The heart of the Egyptian melts with fear. I will make Egyptian fight against Egyptian brothers, against brothers, neither against, you know, it's his neighbor, neighbors against neighbors, city against city, province against province. The Egyptian will lose heart, and I will confuse their plans. They will plead with their idols for wisdom. And all, it says, and call on spirit mediums and those who consult the spirit of the dead. I will hand Egypt over to a hard, cruel master. A fierce king will rule them, says the Lord, the Lord of heaven armies. The water of the Nile will fail to rise and flood the field. The river beds will be forched and dry. The corner of the Nile will dry up and the stream of Egypt will sink it says it will stink with rotten reeds and rushes. All the greenery, uh, greenery along the river bank and all the crops along the rivers will dry up and blow away. The fishermen will lamark for lack of work. Those who cast hooks into the Nile will ground. And those who use nets will lose heart. There will be no flat. For the harvester, no threads for the weavers. They will be in despair, and all the workers will be sick at heart. What foods are the officer of the zones? Their best counsel to kings of Egypt is stupid and wrong. Will they still boost to pharaohs of their wisdom? Will they dare brag about all their wise ancestors? There are your, it says, there are your wise counsel of Pharaoh. Let them tell you what God plans, what the Lord of Heaven Army is going to do to Egypt. And that's also in the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse uh, 17. Next verse here says, Officers of Zion, the Zion are fools, and the officers of Memphis are deluded. The leaders of the peoples have led Egypt astray. The Lord has sent a spirit of foolishness on them, so all their suggestions are wrong. They call Egypt to stagger like a trunk in his vomit. There is nothing Egypt can do. All are helpless, the head and the tail, the noble palm branch, and the lower reed. In that day, the Egyptians will be as weak as women. They will cover was it cower and fear beneath the uprise fist of the Lord of heaven armies? Just to speak the name of Israel will terrorize them. For the Lord of heaven armies has laid out his plan against them. In that day, five of Egypt, Egypt city will follow the Lord of heaven armies. They will even, they will even begin to speak. Hebrew, the language of canyons, one of the city will be Hillipolis, the city of the sun. In that it says in that it says in the it says in that day there will be an altar. There will be an altar to the Lord in the heart of Egypt and there will be a mount a monument to the Lord at its border. It will be a sign and a it says and a witness. It will be a sign and a witness. Um that the Lord of Heaven armies it says that the Lord of Heaven armies that the Lord of Heaven armies 
I was. <laughs> I missed where I was. That the Lord has army is worship in the land of Egypt. Okay, when the people cried to the Lord for help against those who oppressed them, you know, but for those who oppressed them, I'm just dropping everything. <laughs> wow. Okay, for those who oppressed Lost my page again. Okay. Against the oppressed, you know them. He will send them a savior who will rescue them. The Lord will make himself known to the Egypt. Yes, they will know the Lord and will give their sacrifices offered to him. They will make a vow to the Lord and will keep it. The Lord will strike of Egypt. The Lord will strike Egypt, it says. The Lord will strike Egypt. We'll turn to the Lord and he will listen to their pleas and heal them. In that day, it says, in that day, Egypt and Israel will be connected by a highway. The Egypt and then, uh, Israel will move freely between their land. And they will both worship God and Israel will be their ally. The three will be together and Israel will be a blessing to them. For the Lord of heaven armies will say, Blessed, blessed be Egypt by, he says, this is my people. Blessed be Israel, Israel, the land I have made. Blessed be Israel, my special possession. And that's all from the book of, uh, uh, Hosea, I think it's the book of Hosea chapter 2. At verse 23 is all for that book. Well, praise God and God bless you. Sorry about me dropping stuff. And Hallelujah. Praise God. I got the word in. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. And, um, you know, like I always say, you know, if you're not doing what God says, do you know how you want to continue to stay blessed if you're not doing what God says, do you do what you want to do? You're not, you're not listening to Him. You're not getting to receive His word, what He wants you to do. And you're doing other things, not just in Egypt. And you know, look around in your own country, your own state, your own city, right where you are. You know, it's not things like it's like what I be like saying every time I read a book. You know, and they tell you about these different places, Egypt in it, or, or, or Jerusalem or Israel, whatever places like that. I just picture, you know, of what's going on right here in this world. That's that's that's, that's how I do. I just picture what's going on out in these different states, these cities, and in, in the world today. You know, it's like. Is always lining up with the same thing, you know. They doing that. They fighting brothers, fighting brothers. They uh, they killing brothers and sisters, fighting sisters, and you know they killing one another and they hate one another and they just hating on one another. It's like for what, you know? If the devil's here to kill, to, to, to kill, still in the shore, like I always say. If they're not getting in the hole of the world, no matter not teach them to get to these kids, you know why they killing one another, killing their own sisters and brothers, you know? And you know it's like. They don't care, you know, like, what is really going on. You know, they're bullying one another, they're bullying it, they're even bullying the teachers. You know, I'm like, really? Wow, you can hear all these things that's going on in the world, you know, like, but it all falls down into it. It's not no love, they're not getting information, they're not doing what God said to do, they're not reading the book, they're not picking up the book, they're not going to church, they're not going to Sunday school. Nobody's not out there to reach to them, or tell them about the word of God. Then, you know, they can... See it on TV, but they might flip a TV, uh, to flip the channel, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear what nobody got to say. They want to do their own evil doing. That's what the devil wants them to do. Kill, steal, and destroy, and harm, and hurt one another because people hurt people. And they're not getting the information and the um, transformation, you know, what God, you know, wants them to do. They're not trying to hear the word. They're not trying to do what's right. It's like nobody's not trying to tell them what nothing. You know, it's like, apparently they don't care. They may have parent families and uh, parents and, and maybe on drugs or alcohol. They might not have parents in their life. Did they probably raise somebody by somebody else, foster parents or something like that. And it's like, people don't care about their own kids anyway. They don't care about somebody else's kids. You know, they let chill is yours. Sometimes they only care about their own. And they worry about yours and they're doing this and doing that. Sometimes they treat somebody else's kids better than yours. Sometimes they don't treat your kids no even better than your own, and you treat your own better than somebody else. So like you don't care about what somebody else kids. It ain't sure, it ain't your blood anyway. You just worry about getting that little life insurance, getting money, whatever. 
for them anyway. Some people do them things. They don't care. They let them go out and, and run the street, get insurance on. Well, I can't tell them what to do. They teenagers, anyway. they blah, blah, blah. They ain't listening. And then you get this insurance on. It's like going out there. I don't care. I got insurance on you anyway. You know, basically, you know, it's like going out there and kill yourself. I'm going to collect money from you anyway. You know, people think like that. You, you know, just, just like, wow, that's so evil. And that's so selfish. And that's so mean. You know, instead of trying to help them to get in the world of God, like get in the world of God yourself if you're not in the world of God. You know, because good and bad don't mix. You know, at least, you know, if they don't want to hear, at least you told them, you told them. You know, they, that way they won't forget what you, what you what you said and how they go back and, and you know, and go back and follow what you had first taught them or, or told them what to, what to do. You need God. Read the Bible. Pray. You know, ask God to help you. you know, every, every, wherever you're wherever you weak, you ask God to help you. It's simple as that. But God bless you. And God keep you. I mean, I know there's so much going on. You can hear it. Like I always say, every time you turn on the news, it's always bad news. It's always something. People getting hit by a car, hit and killed, trying to save somebody else, trying to run up to somebody else on a freeway and highway or whatever, a byway, whatever you want to call it. It's like, wow, really? And people don't see you flagging away. They just don't care. They will run you down and hit you and keep on going. They don't know what's going on. Probably, oh, this crazy man, this crazy woman out here, sure. That's going to run them over there in my way. And just keep going, and that's really mean. That could be out, out going to help somebody else, or needing help, or calling to help somebody else. Could be needing help, or they trying to help somebody else. And they want them getting their own life taken away. We're trying to help somebody else. So my suggestion with that, I would just, you know, trap it like that. Any, and just, it can happen anywhere. Trap it or no trap. People just, just roll up and just turn the corner and hit you and keep on going. You know, my best bet is, you know, just, it, it's just too dangerous. Just stay in your car, stay in your place, and just stay in, your, stay in the car and call 911. You know, instead of your body going out there, getting out there all up in the way, you never know who's going to come swooping around that corner or down that street or on that highway or a byway or whatever. You know, it's best to just stay in your distance, get on your phone and call 911, say, blah, 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 I need help. You know, I'm such and such. Simple as that. That's that. That's protecting your own self, keeping your own self safe. Instead of going out there, you know, like a mad woman, a mad woman, a man, you know, but there's nobody don't, don't know what's going on with him. You know, you panicking, trying to help somebody, running on out there, scared all at the same time, and wanting to get killed yourself. That's that's not good. You stay with your distance and you call on the phone. When you have your cell phone, call the phone. You want to help? Call now on. I see somebody on the curb. I'll see you. Just, that's the safest way to do it. That's the best way to do it. If you want to help somebody, amen, somebody. God bless you. Every Father, pray for those who watching. God bless you. Then God keep it for Lord, protect you, and guide you in every area of your life. Do the right thing and be cautious. Be a pay attention and watch yourself in Jesus' name. God bless you and your family. And I pray He'll protect you and guard His angels around you going in and going out. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. 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 So until next time, remember God loves you and so do I. And by strength, you are healed and you are well if you believe in Jesus' name. Amen. See you later next time. The guys say the same.